students this is the continuation of the problems under hyperbolic functions now here they are asking us to separate into real and imaginary parts of tan x plus i y already we have seen the real and imaginary parts of sin x plus i y and cos x plus i y now let us see the uh, how to separate the real and imaginary parts of tan x plus i y so we already know that tan can be written as sin by cos so tan x plus i y can be written as sin x plus i y divided by cos x plus i y now whenever we have an imaginary number or an irrational number in the denominator we have to multiply and divide by its conjugate now here in the denominator we have cos x plus i y the conjugate of cos x plus i y is cos x negative i y so let us multiply and divide by cos x negative i y divided by cos x negative i y now here we are going to use a trigonometric formula so for that first we shall rewrite this so this can be written as sin x plus i y cos x negative i y divided by cos x plus i y multiplied with cos x negative i y now this is in the form sin a cos b divided by cos a sin b so the trigonometric identity that we will be using here is so these are the two identities that we will be using here so now here at the place of a we are having x plus i y and at the place of b we are having x negative i y and so this is actually tan x plus i y so this will be equal to so for what we will get it get is so tan x plus i y is equal to now here if we notice sin a cos b so sin a cos b is 1 by 2 of sin a plus b so sin what is a x plus i y so x plus i y plus b b is x negative i y and then so this term i will write here so plus sin a negative b a is x plus i y negative b what is b actually x minus i y so minus of x minus i y so it will be minus x and then minus into minus plus i y so this is the numerator divided by the denominator is this that is cos a cos b so what is the formula for cos a cos b so it is so it is actually cos okay so cos a cos b is 1 by 2 of cos a plus b plus cos a minus b so now here we are having cos a cos b so when we apply this formula here so cos a cos b will be 1 by 2 of cos a plus b so it is cos x plus i y plus x negative i y and then this term i will write here so plus cos a negative b a is x plus i y negative b is minus of x minus i y so it is minus x plus i y so this is the denominator now if you see this 1 by 2 and this 1 by 2 which is in the numerator and in the denominator gets cancelled and now here inside we have sin x plus i y plus x negative i y so the plus i y and negative i y will get cancelled and here x and negative x gets cancelled and also in the denominator plus i y and negative i y gets cancelled and x and negative x gets cancelled and so finally we will be left out with tan of x plus i y to be equal to now here we have sin this is x plus x which is 2x so we will be having sin 2x plus sin now here we are having iy plus iy which is i 2y so divided by now here in the denominator it is cos and this is x plus x is 2x plus cos 
Now here we have iy plus iy which is 2iy. So we can write it as i 2y. Now we have to use the hyperbolic formulas here. That is we already have the relation between hyperbolic functions and the circular functions. So what are they? So we know that sin ix is i sin hx and cos ix is cos hx. So let us use those two formulas over here. So using those two formulas here, we will obtain tan of x plus iy to be equal to so the sin 2x will come as it is. And here we have sin i2y. So what is that actually? Sin ix can be written as i sin hx. So instead of x, we are having 2y. So sin i2y will be i sin h2y. So we will have plus i sin h2y. The whole divided by cos 2x plus now cos i2y. What is cos ix? Cos hx. So cos i2y will be cos h2y. So we will have cos h2y. Now we have to separate into real and imaginary parts. For that, we know that this denominator is common to both the terms of the numerator. So first we will separate it. So this can be written as sin 2x divided by cos 2x cos h2y. And then plus this i. Okay. And in the bracket we will have sin h2y so this term sin h2y divided by this full denominator so cos 2x plus cos h2y so now if you see this is the real part and this is the imaginary part and hence the real part of tan x plus iy is equal to this term that is sin 2x divided by cos 2x plus cos h2y. Similarly, the imaginary part of tan x plus iy is equal to this whole term that is sin h2y divided by cos 2x plus cos h2y. Hope you have understood this problem. Thank you.